Welcome to episode three. This is one of my favorite patches and it utilizes the wave shape knob on the complex oscillator. It was something I would always use back in the day of the soldered cards. And let's just take a quick listen and then I'll unfold it for you. play you a longer version at the end, but let me break it down for you. So the wave shape knob on the complex oscillator, as we know, goes from sine wave when it's all the way to the left, and then you can choose what wave it then uh, sort of morphs over to or crossfades into, I guess is a better way of putting it. Right now, it's uh, such a low sine wave, it's hard to hear but you'll hear it when I change from um, sine to saw. And I can do that now uh, using the pulser. Uh, the envelope generator is reading the pulser and it's sending an LFO, so it's basically just going to go like that. Also, I have the modulation oscillator set at a fixed pitch. Which will then play against all these intervals in the sequencer. So let's just listen to a couple of steps just doing the wave shape. And then what I've done is I've uh, sent the envelope generator to the inverter and sending that back to timbre. So if I raise the timbre slider, we get this sort of seesaw effect going between wave shaping and timbre. So now I'm going to bring in the modulation oscillator, which is uh, being activated by the envelope generator. And um, later I'll just add the modulation uh, index manually. There you go. Uh, stay tuned for, I think I did about a two minute version of this, just letting it roll and slowly adding in the elements. Okay, have fun.